Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have the seventh day of Ben's Miss for you guys today. Last Ben's Miss, Kathy did mention that she was able to do two days worth in one kind of trip. It was like a five hour trip. This is the second part of that, but it is the seventh day of Ben's Miss. And again, I have not seen anything that Kathy is about to show us. So I'm just as excited as you. Let's see what she brought me home on the seventh day of Ben's Miss. Am I your true love? He's lying. I showed him this. Yeah. <laughs> you did show me that. So, yes. I'm not going to tell you about it first. Anyway, am I, are you my true love? <laughs> <laughs> or was I just making an assumption when I said, what did you bring me? Oh, um, <laughs> um, let's see. I forgot. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is actually just something I bought for myself, which now I'm thinking about it. I think there's a few shirts in here I got for myself. Which, well, what'd you get? Let's see. I if mean, they don't end up yeah. fitting, then I'll just sell them. But this is just St. John's Bay, so it's like um, JCPenney brand. But okay. like, I've just been wanting some flannels and yeah. Haven't been to the oh, the normal thrifts. Like most of the dressing rooms are shut down anyway, so mm. you can return, but like it's just such a hassle. You have to do it within seven days and all this at the exact same store. So, anyways, I just haven't been to any thrifts. So <laughs> I found a few flannels in the bins. Take a chance. If they don't work out, I will sell them. Uh, these are just a little pair of baby pants for. Once Upon a Child bin. And again, we do have our Once Upon a Child bin there. And if this is your first time tuning in, we're kind of collecting. Kathy, while she's sourcing in the bins, we'll find little kid stuff and we're gonna bring all that kind of as, as like a little side thing at the end of the bins miss yeah. thing and see and how much they'll give us. Fill up that tub at least. Yeah. It's halfway and we're halfway through. Yeah. So. That's the bin there. Uh, these are a pair of L.L. Bean women's jeans, size 14 petite. Can probably get at least twenty dollars out of those plus shipping. Another thing for Once Upon a Child: some little jeggings. Oh, is that a snag? Hopefully not. Uh, this brand, I don't know where it is. It's Magellan Outdoors. This says it's women size one X. Retail was just twenty dollars, but it was new attack, so I grabbed it. Magellan. I feel like I've heard of that like before. A, it says outdoors, so like an outdoorsy or like yeah. a fishing type brand or something, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know Magellan was like a, a explorer and stuff <laughs> back in the day, but um, I feel like I've heard the brand, yeah. I've only ever sold like one flannel, and it was just for like a few dollars. Yeah. So. Uh, this is a J. Crew pencil skirt, size 8. It is no tag, but then it also has like, it was at thread up at some point. But oh, yeah. It still has its retail tag on it as well. I was like, what is D so up? That's the only reason I grabbed it. I probably would not have grabbed I don't like skirts that much. Like, I don't feel Selling. like they do that well. So if it wasn't new with tag, I probably would not have got it. Uh, this is a nursing bra. It's just motherhood maternity. I feel like nursing bras do okay. They're size medium. So and my nursing bra it has, like, these little clips to make easy access. Easy. Yeah. Uh... This is an American Eagle flannel, size medium. It's probably 15 to 20 or so. Okay. This, I believe, is like a, a line of, I don't know. I think it's part of Cool. But it's oh, K-U-H-L yeah, brand? Yeah, because like the logo is the same. Alice. Where's the logo? Yeah. I mean, it's similar. I don't know. It does you look know, like the same mountain. Uh, yeah. I also don't know if this is men's or women's. It looks kind of like women's, but I don't know. So I'll have to look that up. <laughs> you Hopefully know, it's not like a rip-off or something. <laughs> no, it's not a rip-off. <laughs> right. I've seen it before. Okay. I feel like I've even sold it. I just don't know like how it all connects. This is just a basic Under Armour men's shirt. Size medium. Probably worth about 15 or so plus shipping. It's another one for me if it fits. Just Sonoma brand, so like Kohl's. That's cute. Thanks. <laughs> oh, this is just a Walmart shirt for me. Like, I just have a cardigan that has like some stars on it that I think will match that, hopefully. Okay. So far, I'm not seeing anything from me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got lots to go. Uh, this is just a little Carter's piece. I don't know. Sometimes when it's new, I just want to sell it myself, but that's really not worth it. So I'll just put it in here. Just stinks because they sell like Carter's new a tag or not new a tag for like three fifty, yeah. so they'll only give me like a dollar, and which is fine. But 
I wish they would sell new for more, you know what I mean? Yeah. These are just for my son. Some old navy pants. We got some offline by Airy. Athletic leggings, size small. These are really nice material. Like, they're super thick. Mm. I did not look up comps. Well, that's funny. I did not look up comps on these, but I have another pair here. I think, like, just basic black, which I did look up because they had a little bit more wash wear. Like, these look like they're in, like, excellent condition. The black pair, whenever I find them, had a little bit of wash wear, so I was like... It's I an interesting... I know, I'm just saying it's an interesting... <laughs> yeah. It looks different close yeah, up. Yeah, they look like they're faded, so yeah. but that's how it's supposed to be. But yeah, the black pair, I was like, huh, should I get these? And then when I looked them up, I feel like the comps were like 25 to 30 on pre-owned. On the black ones? Yeah, so I still didn't look up the blue right. ones, but... Probably in the same realm or Yeah, I think, I mean, basically black leggings is like what every girl wants. Yeah. Like, no matter the brand. Is that what you want for Christmas? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, Kendall and Kylie. This is this is new with tag, but I'm gonna have to take the tag off and wash it probably, which is sad. It's got some roses. Yeah. I mean, so it sold that buckle. The clearance was down to sixty four dollars, which is a lot. So how much did this retail for? One hundred twenty eight. I don't know. I I don't even know what that would sell for. Some dusty. It did have another tag on it. Yeah. That, that I accidentally ripped off, so I don't know. I don't know. Something. Yeah, it's something. something. <laughs> uh, this is probably for Once Upon a Child, just a Lands End Kids fleece. I probably shouldn't have got this. It's American Eagle, but just like a basic denim skirt. I was thinking like Y2K when I put it in my cart, but mm. I don't know. I did not look up comps. I'm sure I can get 10 to 15 bucks out of it, but yeah. Again, I don't love skirts. And then I bought another skirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is Title Nine, which this is probably why I thought it was a golf brand. Because I think I've found one piece before at a normal thrift and it was a golf, like this to me is a golf skirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So somebody commented on our last video when I found the sweater dress that it's just like an outdoorsy. Gotcha. Women's brand, which makes more sense. <laughs> they just have some kind yeah. of golf pieces. Yeah. So golf which we like just kind of right? happened to see more of, I guess, huh? Yeah. So this is a size medium. I don't know. I'm hoping for probably like 20 or so out of that. Uh, this I found on my way out of the bin. So like as I'm waiting in line, I'm just like still picking through the ones close by the checkout. And this is Columbia, Columbia. like a windbreaker, which I thought was kids, but it says large. And like the kids ones usually say like size 14, 16 or whatever under. So I don't know now. <laughs> Maybe it's women's, Useful? although it no. looks... Well, youth would be like, it that would, would be say kids. that, like 14, 16. Yeah. So women's large? But I don't think it's women. Like, it doesn't, I don't know. So I got to figure that out. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, those usually sell for like $20 or so for shipping. I uh, got some Old Navy Rockstar jeggings. These, I've said before, I just like the pull-on waistband jeans. Mm -hmm. They seem to do well around $20 plus shipping. These are size 8. This is an airy, just like a little thermal Henley. That'd be a nice like sleep shirt. Or you could wear a regular shirt too, but. Too I many like buttons that. for a sleep shirt. What are you talking uh, about? A lot of my <laughs> nightgowns have these. I don't know. It's kind of cold on the backside of me. You're right. I'm All just thinking right. about waking up like choking. <laughs> just <laughs> uh, this is just a basic Eddie Bauer t-shirt. Only grabbed it because it was new at tag. Size medium. Retail was $18, so yeah. Probably list that for 10 to 12 plus shipping. I'm assuming this is Huskers, right? Yeah, Nebraska. Yeah. So the brand of the shirt is Emerson Street Clothing Co. with a retail of $58. I did not look it up, but I just grabbed it because it was new. I do think there was one mark on one of the arms, so I'll just have to note that when I list it. What else? Once Upon a Child. This is an L.L. Bean fleece. Size women's medium. Okay. So that's probably 25 to 30. And then this I just grabbed because it's a linen piece. I don't know the brand. Charlie B. It says made in Italy. Size XL. 100% linen, yeah. Okay. I think, I didn't see like this color or anything. 
There wasn't a lot of listed or solds, but there was a few. I feel like I can get 30 to 40 out of that. Yeah, that looks like a, so, it's a nice yeah. modern color, really I guess. Really nice to, yeah, like just wear on vacation, just over your swimsuit or something. Yeah. So, all right. Well, this could be the find of this haul. Hmm, maybe not, but it's a cool find. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so these are called bog bags, I believe. The bag itself, yeah. yeah. Apparently they're untip, not untippable, but like, <laughs> that they like stay huh. put when you put them. Anyways, it's like a beach bag, but it's like plasticky. I don't know like it's waterproof. actual plastic, but yeah. So oh, like, look at the bottom. It looks like a tire on the bottom. Yeah. I was just looking it up before we started because I wanted tire. to like yeah. know something about it. Yeah. I, f I don't know how I even knew about this, but like when I saw it, in the bags nobody was grabbing it so i quickly grabbed it um i'm sure i saw some influencer right, right. instagrammer showing off theirs but uh yeah these cost like a hundred dollars new although like this print it looked like on ebay was selling for over a hundred but new. new there's no pre-owned ones listed or sold so i don't know if i can get like 50 bucks or maybe 60 that'd be cool yeah uh, but yeah it's like a beach bag but it has holes in it so like if their water and stuff goes in it it gets out easy right sand goes in it you can hose it down easy stuff like that yeah so, it's a cool bag it's got um, the slip resistant tread pattern on yeah. the bottom <laughs> <laughs> selling it to you guys <laughs> uh this is bob timberlake i don't know I justin's older brother yeah maybe i'm just kidding I don't know. <laughs> speaking of weren't you just showing me last night yeah, I was a, a I was, retro Rick video. Yeah, I was watching retro Rick's video, and there was a I can't remember what the name of the VH the movie was, but uh, yeah, it was an old Justin Timberlake and Maggie Maggie Lawson movie. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, I can't remember what it was, it was but it was like a hundred dollar VHS, yeah. just some random Disney VHS, at a movie that I haven't heard of. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's funny. I want to start looking oh. at the VHS. Yeah, that's what he makes me do. <laughs> I feel like we're still like twenty, but we're like old daddy. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> We've had this conversation on our last. I call him daddy because he's the daddy of our children, not because of any other reason. Uh, had to explain that. <laughs> Here's the black leggings from Aerie. So, yeah, basically the same. Yeah. 20, 20 to 30 bucks on those. Come to our lives. It's a good time. <laughs> Thursday nights, Colorado time, or Mountain Time, 8 p.m. <laughs> Uh, this is an Everlane sweater. I've only actually ever sold Everlane as shoes, which is funny because I feel like they have way more clothes than shoes, but I've never found the clothes before. This is actually also a 100% linen sweater. So I didn't look up comps, but Everlane's a great brand. I found Spanx. Some Spanx? Some Spanx in the bin, size medium. Some shiny ones. Yeah. Are they all shiny? Uh, no, I've sold jeans and yeah, they have a lot of different kinds of pants. But yeah, these look like a faux leather or something. But they're stretchy? Shiny. Like they're like they're stretchy, yeah. but also like they just compression y like they hold yeah. you. Hold it all in for you. And that's what Spanx do, right? They're kind of like yeah. form fitting or Tummy whatever. Control type thing. Uh this was another one I might try on for myself. Just Cole's brand. Uh these are just Walmart. I know I say just, but that's because <laughs> it's just Walmart. <laughs> uh, these retailed for $17 at Walmart, but again, these are linen. That's why I grabbed them and new with tag. I probably, I wouldn't have bought them if they weren't new with tag. I mean, I've sold Walmart pieces fairly decently in the yeah. 10 to $15 range, so yeah. Do we still have that one Walmart piece that was like vintage and it had the old rollback tag on it still? Uh, I can't even remember what it was. Was I just, it that bathing suit? Might have been. I if remember. so, yes, because I never listed it <laughs> still in my drafts. Because if that's the one, the sizing is so different than modern sizing, yeah. and I couldn't figure out how to list it, right. so it's just sitting there, dying away in my drafts. <laughs> uh, this I just got because it's camo. The brand is Premier International. I don't really know anything about that or where it's sold, but yeah, size large. I think I can get ten to fifteen. Just a nice Henley, really good shape. Cool. This is a Pottery Barn robe that I'm probably keeping for myself, but yeah, very warm and cozy because Chris likes to keep our house at like 60 A very degrees. nice, comfortable <laughs> 65 degrees. What are you talking about? Freeze every day. <laughs> Says the woman who opened the window when there, yes, there is snow on the <laughs> ground outside. 
I get hot when we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys keep your temperature at in your house? Please let me know. Who said they keep it at like 80? Didn't someone say uh, that Someone last on the live did. Oh and, and, and everybody's like, what? <laughs> uh, remind me never to come over to your house. <laughs> all right. And this is all the miscellaneous stuff. So I think that was mostly the clothes. Yeah. Yeah, just random things. Okay. So I found this bag. It's Adidas. I didn't know what it was. Cause like, do you know what this is? Um. Like what kind of bag it would be? Um. No. <laughs> A thermos yeah, bag. I didn't either. And then I opened it up, and it actually still had the tag attached. Although it was in such a weird way that like to open it, I had to kind of like do this. What is it? What is it's it? It's a shoe bag. Oh, okay. So just like gym it. shoes. It's Adidas golf, so it just carries your golf, golf shoes? shoes. Yeah. Um, okay, I can see that. Which, even though it was new tag, it's dirty. So I'm gonna wash this before I list it. But yeah, there's that. And then this was inside of it, which is Yampa Valley Golf Course hat. Neat. Um, Yampa was that the, California or something? I don't know where that is. Yeah. So I'll list the hat and then the bag. But. Maybe Arizona? I'm trying to think of... <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Um, this is a little jujube. It's called the fuel cell. It's just like where you put your bottles and snacks and stuff. For we actually had one of these when our kiddos were babies. Yeah. Um, oh, is that that can... really nice brand? We had like the... Jujube, yeah. These diaper bags retail for a lot. Bag. I don't even know if they're cool anymore. <laughs> like they were popular when, you know, our kids were babies six to eight years ago. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Anyways. I think I can get 15 or so out of that. Juju B. <laughs> and they almost always have like the really big zipper clasps and yeah. stuff like that. So. A lot of gold hardware. So yeah. uh, I did Google lens this just because I didn't what know what that? team it was and I already forgot. The Pelicans? No. Miami. Maybe it was like the Hurricanes or something. I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't think it was college. I think the it was. The Herrings? I'm trying to think of what. I a, think it was. Heron? Oh, no. What's I that for? <laughs> <laughs> Quick pause. Miami. Oh, I got an offer on Poshmark. Should I look at it or not? Because what if I don't want to accept it? <laughs> Miami Hurricanes. Um, logo? Not logo. What would you call that? Mascot. 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 Yeah, so it is college. So does the Hurricanes? Uh, yeah. So that's just University of Miami. Miami Hurricanes. Guys, we're just learning. <laughs> yeah. So, cool. I mean, I figured I could get like 10 bucks out of that. Yeah. Oh, is it wool? Kathy's mascot is a mountain lion. It's acrylic. Yeah. And I didn't go to college. <laughs> well, I went to community college and it, I would have been... Uh, what was Pikes Peak? <laughs> I, I think they were like the head? aardvarks or something like that. <laughs> Armadillos. Some a, a animal. <laughs> <laughs> Does com yeah, community college, they still like do sports and stuff, right? I don't know. I, I mean. I think they do. They had a they mascot. They probably just have different divisions of like, yeah. <laughs> like they wouldn't play necessarily. They wouldn't play. I didn't go to college sports. long enough to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like high school sports. You know, if you go to a bigger school. Well, it was also a community college <laughs> that I went to, so. All right, I found this. Uh, what is this, Twins? Yeah, Tigers. I don't know. I don't know. Cool, Detroit? I think so. Yeah, the retail on this was only $9.93, so <laughs> I might, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just grabbed it because it was a new tag. This is a pottery barn. Darth Vader. Yeah. It's a pottery barn pillowcase, so I need to wash it, but. That's cool. Yeah, nice embroidered. Pottery barn makes it nice, like bedding stuff, like house. Wears. For all your little Sith Lord needs. <laughs> uh, this is a, just a Coles Cares, but it's the little elephant guy from Eric Carl. Okay. Um, it only cost five dollars new, but I did see some comps around ten on eBay. So it's funny. I just sold the. Well, it's gone because I already packaged it up. But I sold the little fox the socks and socks. Fox and today socks. For yeah. Four ninety five plus shipping. So you know, not great, but like the bins always has these. So imagine you just go to the bins and get plush. Yeah. You could get. There was so much plush yesterday. I got, grabbed a few, but like there was hundreds. Of, all of them are worth something, you know? You could yeah. literally just go take all the plush, take it home right away, list it, and make probably a couple hundred bucks. So Yeah. I'm you know. always jealous of 
uh, Josh and Haley how they can just I get know, bags, bags and bags of plush for like a dollar <laughs> or like 50 cents. Like even if you just weigh these all by weight that I got, yeah. it's still probably a few dollars. <laughs> little Squishmallow, still had his tag, Floxy. Cute. Little pumpkin. Got a Tigger. <laughs> I don't know, but you just triggered, you triggered him with whatever you just said. Pumpkin? No. Oh, did I get that? Did, I? did you get him? I had a dog toy, but I think I threw it back because oh, no. I was like, he's not going to want yeah, it, so just... why even get it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I did I did pick up a dog toy, but I left it. <laughs> that Tigger. <laughs> New tag. That's probably like 10 to 15. This was, I just thought he was cute. It says Vancouver 2010 Olympics. I did see some comps, I think around $15 pre owned. Like a little troll monster guy? I thought it was like a Bigfoot. Yeah. I forgot what they were calling him. But yeah, he's cute, right? <laughs> this I got because it was a Mercedes bear. Cool. Yeah. It's, I think this was worth around 20 bucks. Um, I just got this because I was like, maybe I'll put that with the hat. Oh, yeah, the hat. Because I haven't listed the hat yet. I just washed it. And they're both Dale. Yeah. <laughs> So Chris taught me the... Well, the you viewers, a okay, few of you taught, taught you me taught <laughs> that the easiest way to, to know is chip. Think of chocolate chip and the brown nose chocolate chip chip. And then Dale is the other guy. <laughs> so Yeah, this by itself, like I saw comps if you have chip and Dale around 20. Hmm. I don't, there wasn't a lot of just one or the other by themselves. So I was like, if I put them with the hat, maybe I can increase the value on the hat a little bit. So yeah. I might do that because the hat alone is probably worth around 20 plus ship with this. Maybe I'll try for like twenty nine ninety five plus ship. And I'll add nothing to shipping too. Yeah. So, yep. Um, and then another jelly cat. Cool. That little zebra. Worth, I think this was worth 15 to 20. With yeah, the most zebra. symmetrical stripes ever <laughs> for a zebra. I think that was all of the plushy. I found this, which I don't know that I'm going to be able to recover, but I just wanted to show you guys because if you find these these days, they're worth a good amount. I just don't like a vintage Von Dutch hat. Von Dutch. Right, like the cow gross that is. Yeah. So, and like, it's not like I can wash this in the washing machine or anything, but yeah. Because um, it's glittery and stuff. It's glittery. Yeah, like already parts of this is like flaking off mm. and stuff like that. So. Okay, so Anyways. Bolo Von Dutch. Yeah, Bolo I've never Von heard of Dutch. it. Really? I haven't. I mean, yeah, this is like a Y2K thing, I would say. Um, okay. The hats can go for like around 30 bucks pre owned. So, anyways, that was just a learning experience. Um, got some dirty crocs that I'm going to wash. Men's four, women's six. Those will go for around 20 or so after they're cleaned up. Just toss them in a wash, cold wash, and do not dry, and they'll be good. Yep. Uh, these are Bond Trigger with the boa. Oh. I didn't look up comps. I don't know if that's like increasing their value or anything, but. The, the boa, uh, yeah. what is it? I don't know what it means. Lace. Dang it, I did make sure they worked. I know, I'm like, <laughs> is it? So yeah, you can tighten them by just like twisting yeah. it, and then you just like pop it open. Pull it out, yeah. And then that's how and you loosen, loosen it. it to get them on, so. It's a cool, cool little system. Uh, these are men's 10 and a half. They don't have the clip, so somebody would have to add their own, but otherwise they're in really good shape yeah. overall. Those are like the most normal looking cycling shoes I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> they look like shoes you could just wear. Like really nice. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? We got some Earth Origin like slipper shoes. Those I think I can get around 20, 25. Um, got some Sorel snow boots. I couldn't keep, like, I was trying to sort my cart, but then every time I was, like, they kept bringing out new stuff. And you can't <laughs> not look at the new stuff, right? Right. So this I found on my very last rotation, and I was happy I at least looked. That's all I found, but, like, these will sell for, like, $30 or so. 25 yeah. to 30 plus shipping. Well, Fairly easy. Staying around for that last rotation, yeah. at least. So, I don't know if I told you. Oh, I think I did. So this whole haul was $69.49. So these will nice. cover like 25 of that, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Those are Toddler 7. So these are Meryl Barefoot. They have slight separation at the toes. So I almost left them. But like, other than being dirty, the treads are in like super good shape. These look mm -hmm. like they were probably worn once. So 
Gonna ask if you think you could glue that, but even if you can't, I think I can list as is for at least 20 yeah. bucks. Um, these sell for 40 to 50 easily uh, without any flaws or even with some flaws like dirt. Yeah. So I still think that was worth picking up. They are a men's eight and a half. Oh, I found these. Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very expensive new, but like these aren't in great shape. So I'm not really sure. I just had to get them because they were Jimmy Choo at the bin. Yeah. Size 38 and a half. Um, so I don't know what that equals. Patent leather, you know, they have marks on them. So those are never coming out. A little bit fading on. At least not by us. I'm sure other yet. people. I don't think there's a way to get anything <laughs> out of patent leather. But anyways, yeah, I, I don't know what they're worth. But something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got these outdoor research. Um, they did have writing on that one like over boots like you put these over your shoes or whatever for winter okay maybe like like how you don't you don't really have snow boots but if you want to go out you could just put these over your shoes okay so interesting yeah um i don't know what they're worth at the moment but outdoor research stuff usually does pretty well and i've got a pair of toms size seven really good shape this should be an easy 20 bucks and then lastly, some Uggs, which look like new, and they are my size. I'm gonna try these on. Yeah? I don't know. How often do I wear shimmery gold shoes? Never. <laughs> yeah, I'll just sell them, but they're really nice. Uh, women's size 10. Yeah. Cool. So probably, I wanna say close to 40 on these. So yeah, that is what I found. So, Nothing for me. Uh, I'm, just I, 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 I'm I, I, joking. I got you these because you don't have snow boots. <laughs> awesome. I'm, I think you found some great stuff again. Yeah. Overall, this and the last uh, Ben's Miss was the same day. So that was yeah. a really, really good day. That felt worth it. Yeah. So five hours, including eating lunch, not including driving time, though. So yeah. I would say about, around two hours or so per, for this one per haul. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome great job so if you have just tuned in for us for the first time on our Benzmas series make sure you go check out the playlist and get caught up on all of it and all of the drama there was a couple days where we just like we were just finding nothing so go back see how those went that's going to do it for the seventh day of Benzmas thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next day of Benzmas